right guys, hope you're doing well. So we've got a KC hot tip for you. Right, we'll just take this bay window out here. It's It was plastic before, so it's just making it plastic again. Just a different style and reducing the uh, the projection of the bay. But we've come across a little problem to show you now. The old bay was in marginally, so you could hardly seal up. You've got nothing to the brickwork to seal up. So KC, you've got a hot tip for you. As you can see, the old window wasn't fitted right. It's running out from top to bottom. Well, you can see the old frame here. It was right, you can see where the seal line is here. It's right on the edge of the brake, which is a bit of a no-no, a lot of a no-no. But as you can see, it, as we go up here, it goes more and more. So the old frame, that shows us that the old frame was, was out by, what, 50, 20 mil? At least 20 mil. Yeah. 20 mil from the top to the bottom. Out. 20 mil from the top to the bottom. Because you see the gap on the line here. There's 20 mil. And at the bottom. Nothing. Zero. So what? What? What are you going to do about that, Casey? What I'm going to do is <laughs> I'm going to cut the plaster line back and level it all up, and we'll put it in plumb and do it proper as you should. So we are going to make a pencil line from nothing to like 20 mil at the bottom and that'll counteract everything and make a reveal, plaster reveal, plumb. Now this side isn't too bad but we've got the same thing. It's not quite on the edge of the brick but there, that's the sealant line. It's quite close to the face of the brick. And as we go up on this side, again it's, it's, it's running out. That means the bay was leaning back, the old bay. So we're gonna to have to do the same that side. Put a, put a pencil line down here and then cut it out so it's all plumb. So we're going to have a pencil line here now, just in case of trimming that off. Trim that side. Before we get it with the chisel or the palette knife, it'll crack all the rest of it. Yeah, so what we're doing, we're just sawing down it nice and neat. The only other option is to grind it, but then there'll be dust just everywhere. everywhere. So we do a little blunt saw and all saw. Put it down nice and bottom. Hey, you could do, aren't you? Yeah. In fact, that is where the original bit of us. We've got the original window. Why have we done that? Started that side now. Oh, nice and plumb. And now, all oh, that side's done. Sorted. That's today's Casey's hot tip. Uh, join me soon. Oh, go on. It's not, uh, not easy, is it? Go on. <laughs> <laughs> That's today's Casey's hot tip. Hope you join me again soon. Thanks, Mark. Try it again. Let's try that. That's today's hot Casey's hot tip. Join me again soon. That's today's Casey's hot tip. Join me again soon. Nailed it. If you want it, then you have to wait. See your every flaw. I see your home. Made out of straw. solvent cleaner in his own and a rag if not that a dustpan and brush his favourite tools we've just got the frames in and screwed the bare poles up with some metal screws because these are just aluminium so you need some metal screws normal wood screws won't do How do you think it's gone in, Dad? It's to the millimetre. It's perfect. Would you expect anything less? No. Very smart. Simple. Smart. We didn't do the canopy, by the way. That was already in. So we just worked for that. We're actually building a, a roof across here. Just a small pitch roof. 
similar to that. So we've got that video to look forward to. We finished it inside with a nice window bottom. Cleaning glass again for about the twelfth time. Gonna melt it. Oh.